Hey guys, this might be fun for some of you RC enthusiasts and whatnot. This is the AR drone which came out in 2010 at CES. Won an award for uh, gaming electronics innovation. Built by a French company called Parrot. And because they're French, they think it's a flying video game. But guess what? It's a quad rotor. Okay. Anyway, and uh, one of the cool things people like to do to their, their drones is light it up. You got to think about how many milliamps you're drawing, though. So I want to give a shout out to my buddy Spitz that I did the LED deck lighting with, because he hooked me up with. He has two of these. He hooked me up with one of his AR drones. He hooked me up with props, gears, an extra battery. Batteries are 40 bucks each, I think. 30, 40 bucks each. So he gave me an extra battery, some spare parts. And an unused, brand new hull. Look, it still has the plastic film on it. So we still have a new hull here. And I bought a hull to customize. So we're going to have a custom painted hull. Uh, and then there's a hull in here. Let me take this thing out if I can. Like anybody that just learns how to use these things, the indoor hull is going to be really important at first because you guys are going to want to fly around with that no matter what. So you don't destroy the thing until you start trusting yourself to fly it with the uh, outdoor hull, so the indoor hull is going to be real handy. But uh, as you can see, there's a little seam right there where it clips on with a magnet. And that would be a cool place for these little side emitters, wouldn't you say? I've already modded this one earlier for Spitz, about a year ago. He wanted me to put a power switch in so he could turn the battery off with a switch. It's kind of a big switch, isn't it? But, that's what I had. He put some carbon fiber on it. So it's already been kind of modded. So you can see the obvious location for lights down is, is probably either right here on the uh, carbon fiber main board and uh, maybe here and uh, slit lights could go around so I want to mount everything basically to the to the this part of it so no matter what hull you put on it slit charging these things is tricky you've got to do them with a special charger that's what this is this is a balancer this plugs in to the charger the red and the black are what most people tap their LED lighting off of they find a plug compatible to this and then they just plug in. And that's cool. I guess that's alright. Uh, I might do it that way. I'm thinking also because before, I don't know if you can see, but see the blue heat shrink in there? I've already modded this thing once. I might just take this completely apart. It comes off of the carbon fiber spars. You just slit. So you just slide the foam off. The camera is attached. You can unplug it. It's also got a thing here. You can. It's literally a ribbon cable that goes to it. So you can take the whole thing apart, and then I can uh, tap in so that when I turn the switch off, it turns the lights off. Turn the switch on, turns everything on. I might, I just might put a mini slide switch, because I've got a bunch of them. I might put a mini slide switch on it, just like right in here, you know. might just put it right in there so I can turn the LEDs on or off and fly it with or without the LEDs. Because during the day, the LEDs don't really do much. Okay, made a little progress. Got a little tiny slide switch installed here. This is tapped into the uh, main board at the. There's two little power things that come up, little solder nibs on the side, so it's nothing to uh, get that switch in there. So I've got a earth and. And what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to just terminate these into a typical 3-pin Molex fan plug so that the LEDs can get changed out. I don't want to hardwire the LEDs into it in case they change or we change things around. So that's basically the switch mod part of it so far. Got power. All right, let me show you my handiwork. Here's the LED power out. I'm going to fish it through here eventually. There's room because this kind of is more circular as so you can fish around. Shouldn't be a problem. 
so that works, and uh, I'll demonstrate all that right now, I reckon, if I can do all this one-handed. Oh, yeah, look at me. I'm so special. Mr. Left-Handed One. I'll just turn it upside down. Notice this is the power switch that powers the whole drone. Okay, so power off. lights. So you can see the little slide switch is powering lights. No problem. So, my work is done as far as the actual hard wiring of things together. Get that battery off there. I'll do a little fishing about and whatnot, but basically, I think that came out pretty nice. So now my son, this will be his birthday present coming up. He can uh, have the LEDs on or off and he can turn the LEDs on even when the uh, drone isn't flying so he could have it sitting on his shelf or whatever, lighting his room up, discharging his LiPo battery. I bet it would take a long, long time to discharge a LiPo battery running one strip of these. <laughs> He might get a few nights of use out of that. Well, my friends, it's late, and before I do something stupid like put one of these foam hulls on a soldering iron or something because I'm so tired, I'm going to stop. So I'm going to show you. got my little plug fished, and the, the hull goes right on it. It's no problem. And I checked clearances, and I don't need to do any kind of modding to the hull at all using these extremely skinny profile Side emitting LEDs, I'm going to put clusters of three so they shine out onto each of the blades. So each of the blades will be whirring red looking where the light's hitting it. And uh, I'm thinking about putting some uh, bottom lighting on here. I have some white lights. I might just put a strip of three right across the bottom. But I'm not sure. I'll start off with the red and we'll take it from there.